and right on time. It's almost got a little bit of that fall football feel to the air, right? After Ida, earlier this week, we've had uh, set the stage for some cooler, drier, more comfortable air to settle into the mid-state. That's part of the reason why it feels pretty nice this afternoon. Better than it did for the entire month of August. Sunshine, blue skies, and bone dry. I am so thrilled to be able to say that there isn't a single raindrop falling across Middle Tennessee right now. 83 degrees where we sit, that north northeast breeze, that's part of what's setting the stage for a more comfortable feel, right? Drier air settling in. Hopkinsville at a spectacular 82. We've spent most of the day in the 70s just now, inching into the low 80s. This is a loop of the last six hours of satellite and radar. There's nothing on it. It's so great, right? This has been very busy for us, so it's nice to get a little bit of a break in the action. 70s for areas east right now, 80s all across the mid-state. It's just an easy Thursday, and we will take it, right? So part of how we look at how comfortable it feels outside is the dew point. It's literally how many water molecules are in the air. And when the dew point is down into the 50s, that's when it feels really good. That's good hair day territory. That's you don't really notice it or feel it. It's when it's up into the 60s that you do, and it was there yesterday. We are nearly 10 degrees drier right now than we were at this point. And we're going to stay dry at least through Saturday night. Our next weather system swinging out of the plains is going to bring some showers and storms on Sunday. No severe weather is expected, and we are not worried about flooding. Rain is rain, and we're still quite saturated at this point. I think all of us would be fine if we had a good long seven day dry stretch. I don't have that power, but I can tell you that rain is only going to appear two times in the next seven days. So as far as your weekend goes, Saturday, pick day, 86 degrees, partly cloudy, clouds increasing late day. And then Sunday, especially for our northern tier as those showers work in, you'll wake up with some showers around and it'll be on and off throughout the day. Not like I said, not expecting severe weather, not looking at flooding and there'll be dry pockets too. Little bit of rain may linger into the first part of Labor Day Monday morning, but by Monday afternoon things should be good across the area if you want to fire up the grill or whatever you'd like to do. As we head towards next week, your next chance for rain is Wednesday, again courtesy of another cold front. That'll reinforce that fall feel or at least an early fall feel as we head towards the middle of next week. And again, that next one also weak carry, so no heavy rainfall is expected and no severe weather is expected.